Hello and welcome to Stubtown, PSU TV's review show. Today we're talking spoilers on Birth of a Nation. And uh, okay, so we have a magical uh, change in guest this week. Uh, we were just with Will Whitley, uh, one of our long-standing members, and today uh, for our, our spoiler section, Zach Huckabee, the station manager for PSU TV. So, spoiler-free, dive into anything you want. What's uh, how do you feel about Birth of a Nation? Didn't like it. Nah. Didn't like it. <sighs> felt sloppy. Right <laughs> off the right off the bat, it felt very sloppy mm. and. It didn't have, I don't know, I don't know, it felt like the movie perceived itself to be more cunning and skillful than it actually was. Yeah. I mean, uh, so I that mean, was that's pretty like, glaring for me. That's like a big problem when you were the producer and the director and the writer yeah, on a film. I agree. Anytime there would be like a, a, a blind spot that somebody could come in and fill in, like a second... Mm -hmm. You know, a uh, screenwriter or a director looking over a yeah. script going, hey, we'll do this, this, and this. Or a producer going, this scene doesn't work. If you're doing all of that, your blind spots become apparent. Like, this, uh, Nate Parker didn't, he was very focused on Nat Turner's life. Yeah. But not in any particularly engaging way. It no. didn't inform a lot of it, the movie. It also, it felt like lots of, uh, yeah, like things, ideas that were, looked into but weren't fully realized mm -hmm. or sought after. Yeah. Uh, one of the biggest things for me that I'm just upset about that they didn't like fully realize were all the supernatural tendencies that kind of came into it. Mm. I, like I, I you know, mm -hmm. I was talking to you about it after the review. Yeah, There's yeah. this wonderful shot and it's taken it's and it's taken I can't I can't remember quite what what it follows, but it's <laughs> this it's this uh, this ear of corn mm. and it's just sitting there in this hand and then blood starts to seep out of the corn. Yeah. And it's it's a very symbolic you know, image, and you could look into it in several different ways and Absolutely. whatnot. But that was just one thing. I was like, yes, they're they're taking they're taking this route with it because I really mm -hmm. wanted to see that because yes. there's a lot of supernatural uh, uh, dealings at the very beginning, the mm -hmm. very opening is very supernatural. But when we go into it, we see some imagery that's supernatural and whatnot mm -hmm. or symbolic, but it isn't followed up, and there yeah. isn't they they don't do enough of it. They no. can, they only partially commit to it. Yeah. Kind of like they only problem. partially commit to a violent fight at the end of the movie. Yeah, I was, I was talking about this in the spoiler free, that the, the violence seems kind of random for when they want to take it seriously or not. Yeah. Um, oh man, that rebellion. The actual rebellion scene itself is, and I say scene because it's basically maybe two scenes, three, it's a couple of scenes, it's, it's maybe 15 short, minutes. Yeah. Um, yeah, oh. Not good. It looks like History Channel, right? It looks, yes, it looks like I, I don't really don't know. It looks like people who tried to shoot violence, ultra violence, maybe something like that, and didn't quite know how to capture that. Yeah. Um, and there's that there's that kind of revenge feel that they're trying to go for, yeah. and it's just like they've done wrong to us. Now it's time to get back at it. And there's you know there's merit behind it, and whatnot, but it just fails to oh. do that. And like a film that did like that ultra violence. Uh, revenge thing very well was Django Unchained. Yeah. And that did it so well. It was fun, but at some times it was brutal and made oh, you feel man. for it. But this film wasn't fun in its violence. It was brutal, but then it didn't have any, there was no, I don't know, weight to any of it. So it was just yeah. there. It was it, surface level. Yeah, when when the violence could have weight to it, when, and I was talking about this in the spoiler free, because you were, you were saying that uh, Nate Parker doesn't like Django. Yeah, I heard right? that. And, um, mm -hmm. And I think it is because he just, it's, there's an element of, of uh, exploiting suffering for entertainment. And I think that his use of violence is made specifically to be, like, satisfying, right? It's supposed to be like, these guys have been terrible this whole time, now we get to see them die horribly. Yeah. And, like, the audience we were with him was a nightmare. Yeah, uh, but best. every time, like, a slave owner died, there was people clapping, you know, like, well, there was one guy who was just like, yeah! Clapping a lot, yeah. clapping a lot, yeah. Um, I, I don't, and I don't know if they, I felt like they mishandled, trying to make us dislike these people and mm. then killing them. I thought they mishandled that very badly. Like, Army Hammer's character, well, uh, it was Mr. Confused. Turner. Yeah, yeah it was very confused. Confused and like if they would have drawn that out a little more, it told mm. there is totally an arc of like perceived friendship mm. that slowly unravels into him just using him because he's a he's still a slave. At the end of yeah. the day, they were friends as kids, but at the end of the day, he's still a slave. Mm. And that is totally a story arc that they could have just knocked out of the park with that slowly yeah. unraveling. But I feel like it was so turncoaty at the end. I don't yeah. know if there was enough 
to, to justify that. Or oh, the yeah. fact that, uh, uh, is it Jackie Earl Haley, the actor? Who yeah. Played, oh, that yeah. was so, that's so... That was sloppy. Underutilized, like he was, he, he was, was coincidentally <laughs> the bad guy. Yeah, he was there every time somebody needed to do something horrible, horrible right? to, to someone around Nat Turner. That was all he was. Yeah, he and was, he really felt like one of those, like a very made-up character. He was so... If if, there, was, if that character is, is a real historical figure, I mean, kudos to them for pulling that out. Yeah. I do not believe it for a minute, no. though. Oh, man. There's, yeah, I mean, and with, like, at least with, with um, and, Mr. Turner's character, there is a little bit, like, there is a little bit behind the madness of trying to, mm -hmm. to, um, what is it? To, to, to keep his his family's farm and their like mm. their pride and whatnot going, yeah. so you can see a little bit of why he's doing the things. Mm. But Jackie Earl Haley's character, there's nothing it's there. It's just evil. It's evil, but without cause. Yeah. It's just well, evil he's racist. to be evil. Yeah, he's just racist to be. Yeah. There's nothing behind it, and right. it's coincidentally there, so he's mm. he has no weight to that character. Yeah. Um, no. And I'm upset that they went so heavy with his character. Like they made him do atrocious things, mm -hmm. but without. Context. Context whatsoever. Well, that was part of what the... I don't know, I felt like the, the system for the first slaves is really the enemy. It's it's really, you know, this whole way that everything's built up. So I think they could have done a better job of pointing out, like, how utilitarian everything was. Like, every, all of their suffering was built towards a utilitarian purpose. Mm -hmm. And, um, man, the Army Hammer thing was so confusing because they stayed on it for so much of the movie and it, it did. just didn't fully flesh it out. Uh, I would love to talk more about this. Unfortunately, we are out of time for today. Um, give a quick uh, recommend, don't recommend, a uh, little, little summary of your feelings, uh, and then I'll follow you. Um, I was really looking forward to this movie going in. I had some... I, would, I had some reservations going in. I didn't like the way the trailer looked, the cinematography and the trailer mm -hmm. and the grading. Wasn't I wasn't too keen on that, but no. I was still hopeful. Yeah. But ultimately, I was very I was dissatisfied with it. I thought they tried to tackle themes that were over their head, um, and I felt they did a bad job of it. And I personally wouldn't recommend it to, to watch it. I, I didn't have fun with it. Mm. I feel it would a, it angers me as a person who respects movies and watches mm. movies because mm. it's so mishandled. Yeah. You know, and the, the themes in it are so relevant even to this day, just as much as they were then. Oh, I feel but... they're mishandled. And it's, it was bad judgment to make the movie like this and I, have it be so, you know, not good. I 100% yeah. agree. Like, it's a great idea. I'd love to see this exact idea executed insanely well. They wasted the title. Uh, it was such a good yeah, appropriation of the title. Such a good, and, and unfortunately, no one's going to remember this two years from no, now. No, no one's going to remember this a year from now. So yeah. the idea that they took back the title didn't quite happen. I would have loved that. Yeah. Uh, overall, I won't recommend it either. Um, yeah. So, I guess that's our quick stub town this week. Um, yeah, uh, we'll, we're going to keep rolling throughout the quarter. If you're interested in being on the show or crewing on the show, uh, please come down to the sub basement, PSU TV. We're all down there. Uh, basically, are from noon to six. Uh, and come down, we'll tell you all about it. So, until next time, see you later.